All right, now we ain't gonna go live like that. We gonna we gonna go ahead and start now. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. I think so. Hold on, 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 hold on. All right, then we good now. What's up, everybody? All right, so I wanted to watch a couple videos, but um. Before I do, before I do, let me go pull it up. Cool, thanks, PJ. Uh, Peso, what's up, bro? Feel fresh, what up? King, King, King Drippy, what up? Hola, Linda. What up, Mace? All right. Let's see what we're looking for. What we're looking for? What we're looking for? Hold on. I want to see. So this is uh, Cuts by Reggie. Shout out to Cuts by Reggie. Yo, Cuts by Reggie. Back with another video. Before I get into the video, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you dislike the video, thumbs down. All the good stuff. Comment, share, subscribe, blah, oh, blah, blah, blah. Right? Before I get fully in detail... I ain't gonna get that detail. I like to remind people, cause when I was um, doing the unboxing of the Oster Fast Feeds, I also have the, the trimmers too, but we'll talk about that later. I mean on? like today, but in another video. Anyway, right? Oh. When I was unboxing the Oster Fast Feeds, I was talking about how, look, I was talking about how the packaging comes out to the eye, right? A lot of people took at this to sense of that I'm saying that if the packaging is ugly, that it's automatically a failure and all that good stuff, right? But so when I do these, it's kind of just to tell about the product. And then it's just to tell my view and my experiences with these products. This packaging does not detail how a machine will work. But this packaging, to me personally, and to some people, might not be appealing. I don't know, man. Uh, I actually, y'all don't think I'm weird for this, but I actually thought the packaging was pretty cool. Like, I, I thought it had, like, the retro, classic, babyless. It had that um, nostalgia to it. Call me weird, but like I've been cutting hair 11, 12 years. My first pair of clippers were, um, my first pair of clippers were fast fees. My wife gifted my girlfriend, my wife now, my girlfriend at the time, she gifted them to me while I was in college, and I don't know, it just brought me back. It gave that nostalgia. I I don't know if that's the look that Austin was going for, but that's what it seems like to me. Y'all agree in the comments? Yes. And for the most part, a lot of people is just gonna take this package throw it away or if they don't like them they're gonna put it back in the package either put it up or sell it yeah of course can you guys hear it don't tell me i've been doing this and y'all can't hear it yeah but you guys can like hear it. a good package and this to me is dated i'm not saying you can't go for that retro look if you're a company these companies can do whatever they want mm -hmm. they are the people making the money they are the people making the decisions and they are the people that's going to either win from what they put out or lose from what they put out. Don't matter to me, but when I'm here in front of this beautiful iPhone telling my opinion, that's all I'm telling my opinion and my thoughts on the product. So you see, I try to, <clears throat> so, <laughs> so we're going to do a quick review of the cordless Oscar fast feeds. And of course, when I was unboxing it and got the 90 minute runtime, 
same motor, all the good stuff. It's cordless, right? And we seen what it came with. And you know, I kind of like them, yeah. Right? I like them. So this is the machine. I did bring out the one of my corded Osters Fast Feed to just kind of do a couple cuts with. I wasn't really a fan of the Fast Feed, so I didn't use it a lot. Me either. I wasn't. Uh, but I, they were my I first pair, one, but so I wasn't I like a huge fan. Do a few cuts with it. See if there's truly a difference. And let's sound. Let's do the sound. Sound the same. Right. So this is the cordless. Sound very similar. Sound very similar. When uh, Filthy Blends was talking about them on Instagram, people were going crazy, like saying like the sounds trash. It sound like the classic ones. Am I crazy? Do they not sound the same? We're gonna see. We're gonna see uh, with my with my boy right here. He, what he says. Really, no difference there. The, all right. Oh, okay. It's hard to tell with with the microphone or the camera. But he, I like that he put that caption that the corded is a bit louder, cause you can't really tell from the from like, there's times that I've done clip reviews and people are like, yo, they're super loud, but they're not. It's just the camera mic. So my my first opinion of the fast feed, of course, I don't like the packaging. It looks mm -hmm. old. It looks like a a company that's not caring about the output of how it looks, which is fine if your product delivers, right? So these are 220. Yeah, 220. I got them from 614. Like I told you, I pre-ordered them from 614. Barber Supply. Got them for 220. And this is the clipper. It's fine. It just looked dated. And the reason why I say it looked dated, because even if you grab a older fast feed and put it next to this, even this don't look as dated as this does. The maroon color, mm. it just gives you an old school barbershop mm. feel, which is fine. But even the fast feed don't look as dated as this. As you see, it's a different length, a little longer, of course. You got to put the motor, all the engine, blah, 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 right? But it's cool for 220 I pre-ordered from um, 614 Barber Supply. You get it. You cut with it. It's fine. It's not the best with bulk removal. Mm. Using it, but the original fast feeds were not good, great at bulk removal either. Um, I'm wondering if they're rotary. Are they? Is, they got to be a rotary mode. It's, it's not the greatest with taking down bulk, right? Fading wise, it's cool. As you can see, I wanted. I was trying to explain how wide it opened on the live the other day. So that's a regular. That's a regular fast feed. Mm. Versus damn that it looks like it opens more it opens water yeah much water i don't like that oh no i don't like that at all no they ruined it yo this is a great review cuts by reggie this is a great review bro you're not missing no then details i don't like that why does it open so much corded let me see corded fast feed right so it cuts through her and it's cool it don't get it don't get snagged when it cuts down bulk. It just not, it's not a smooth cut. All right. I took a few, cut against the grain. It's cool. It's decent with fading. You get what I'm saying? My whole thing about this fast feed is if you like the fast feed, you're going to like this, right? Mm. I don't really have a lot to say about it because it's a fast feed. So on that aspect of it, it is a fast feed. With these, they fast feeds. Are they gonna overtake if you use fast feed? I think if you like the fast feed, you will like these, but I think you will continue to, to stay with a, re a corded fast feed. Because if you've been using it this long, this updated cordless version is not gonna change your mind unless you're just looking to go cordless. So, all in all, because I'm trying to get it all together, right? 220 for the corded clip. I mean, for the cordless fast. He's, he's giving again, all, the, all the info. I don't know exactly if that's the price price because there's not a lot of places selling these yet. That's they're probably MSRP. On, 
third party websites. I think yeah. somebody told me Wimsport was selling them, but I see them only really on 614 Barber Supply, right? The color, uh, not a fan of 220, and the, it, not that the color changes in any way. 220 <laughs> for the product, right? I, I, I do got to be fair to, to Asa. They got all black ones coming out. Um, I personally, when I saw both of them, I would have went with the maroon because it's the classic. It's the classic color, man. If you if you if you've been cutting hair over a decade, you uh, that maroon. Even though it's a different type of maroon, it's like a matte finish as opposed to that glossy finish. Um, but I could totally see why some people would be turned off by the colors. Definitely got that 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 old look to it. You get it shipped to you. It cuts. It opens very wide. Like I said, I don't it opens like that. Up wider than the regular fast feed. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it don't get hot. Not the best with bulk removal. So it does come with a charging it dock. It don't get hot. And this charging dock also fits your tr the trimmer. I don't think the old fast feeds ever got hot either. I never. I don't remember them ever getting hot. Like the old magnetic seniors, the old magnetic masters, they used to get hot. I don't. I don't. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. It's been so long. I used them, um, but I'm pretty sure they they never really got hot. So that's good that they kept it consistent. As well, right? Does come with a charging dock. I did not like these guards. Not them guards, with trash. It. Not no. that they're bad. They're bad. It's just it's not as smooth. Nah, yeah. As when you're trying that's too to much put work. On trying to be quick. A double mat. The, the trying to be quick. Right. Yeah. So they could have done some type of guard that's not i don't know i don't like the guards right like i said it lasts the 90 minutes that it say it's gonna last though it cuts through her it fades pretty good will i be using it will i continue to use are they going to make the rotation reggie that's the question will they make the starting lineup that's the question coach probably not ah um uh, ah i got it though <laughs> he was quick and honest. I'm glad I got it, but I probably won't continue to use it. Mm. This Oster Fast Feed, is it worth your time? Is it worth your money? Yes and no. If you like Fast Feed, you're going to like them. If you weren't really a fan of Fast Feed, this is not going to make you change your mind and say, oh, I got to try this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just not, it don't feel, it don't feel right. It don't feel right to me. But all in all, they did bring it out. I do think they rushed it. Not necessarily rushed it, but I don't. But that's the thing. I know for a fact they've been working on these for over two years, at least over two years. So, damn. I don't think they really cared about adding anything to it. I just think they kind of wanted to say there's a hype for this clipper. Let's put it out. They also have the 76ers in the trimmers, like I said. I have I'm not excited about the trimmers. The T, the T, the T trimmers or whatever they call them. They've never been hitters. Um, and um, the Oster, the Osters, 76ers, they might be dope, but the Octanes are kind of hard to beat. So I have the 76ers on pre-order. There's no date for those to actually ship out yet, but I do have them pre-ordered. I did get the trimmers come in. I'll talk about those in a different separate video that I'm about to do and like whenever I get done with this one. <laughs> but it's cool. It's just a cool clipper. Dang. I won't be using them. Dang. Maybe you'll use them. Maybe you'll love them. But uh I think I think more runtime. I honestly would have liked a different motor in it than uh than the pivot, whatever. Does it have a pivot motor? It's in there. Uh, it has a pivot motor. But, Is that facts? Who am I? Right, I bought them, so they still got their two twenty from me. They do have a new color wave coming out of the black and silver. Yeah, yeah. The, black the black and silver looks pretty damn good. It looks very modern. It's crazy how just changing the color can make something look so much more uh, modern. You know black what I mean? And silver, as far as the look, I, it looks amazing. I do. <laughs> Hey, me and Reggie agree on something. I, the black and silver looks amazing. I would have got the maroon because of the classic nostalgic feel, but that black and silver looks really damn good. I understand putting these out first yeah. because that color wave is the color wave of the fast yeah. So I do understand that. 
But that black and silver of this lineup is amazing, right? That black and silver right. look good. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I explained everything. You did good, bro. There's Reggie. There's really a lot to say. Yeah. If you like Fast Seed, you'll like them. If you don't, you won't. Yeah. I don't think it's really worth it. If you like the videos, like the videos. If you dislike the videos. Hey, man, y'all go subscribe to comment, Reggie, man. Sure. Cuz by Reggie, that was very informative. That was very good. I'm going to probably check out another uh, review here. Uh, let me look at the comments. I'm oh, looking forward. Shout out to my dog, to my peoples at Forward Barber Supply. Uh, we sent, yeah, um, Danny has them. I was supposed to pick them up today. I didn't make it to the office today. So um, I will be picking them up tomorrow. Thank you, Forward Barber Supply. I really appreciate it. So we'll see what I think about them. I'm going to try to be as unbiased as I possibly can be. Um, so I've never been a, a huge fan of the fast feeds like a lot of people were. So I'm, I'm definitely going to put that out there. I want no problems with nobody who's a super fan of the fast feeds. Let me see what the comments look like. Let me see if he's getting uh, demolished by uh, super fast feed fans. Uh, okay. Looks. Somebody said they they might not like him because it looks big. Eh. Eh. I used my quarters fast fees when I went cordless too. You can't pay two twenty either, bro. That's what clippers are going for, for these days. The days of one hundred twenty dollar clippers, hundred dollar clippers, those days are gone. Those days are gone, guys. You, you guys gotta understand with these all these supply chain issues, how the economy is right now, bro. Though the logic boards, all of these components have skyrocketed in cost. Like honestly, it, the prices are up, but they there's they're nowhere near the profit margin they used to be. I mean, shipping, just shipping, um, product has like tripled in cost. It's in, it's insane what's going on these days, man. So, uh, everybody should be raising their all barbers should be raising their prices and not complaining because other people raise theirs. That's just that's just what it is in this day and age, man. Unfortunately. Fast fees were good for beginners. Boy, are you crazy? Fast fees were like were legendary for the longest. All right, uh, let me continue. Let me let me check out the comment section where we we'll have more soon. We sold out the first batch in twenty minutes. Golly, yeah. There's there's huge fast feed fans out there. Huge fans, bro. They coming from China though. I don't understand, but what does that matter? I, I never understood that they're they're people. <laughs> like they're people. Ameri American factories have people working them as as well. Um uh, part of, part of why you want to stick with a brand is because brands have a little bit more integrity. They gotta look after their brand so they have more quality control. Um but I never uh you know people just be regurgitating stuff. All right, let me check out uh one more review. Uh, tank be chopping. Let's check out Tank be choppings. This was two days ago. Cop or drop? He got all the sneakers in the back. Is that sneakers in the background? Let's see what he's talking about. It's a pretty well bit chart. It's a pretty. It's a pretty well bit. I can't even say that word. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank be chopping, and I'm back with another video. So today's video, we actually gonna be doing a clipper review, and we are gonna be reviewing the Oster Fast Feeds. Let's get it. Hey. Hey, I hear the beat. I hear the beat. Look at the 245. Okay. Okay, Tank. Yo, so make sure y'all go subscribe to uh, Cuts by Reggie. Now, go go subscribe to Tank Beat right, Chopping. so if you've been following your boy for a minute, you know I picked these up about a week ago from 614barbersupply.com. I uh, purchased these things. They came in. I got a whole unboxing video, initial thoughts, all that good stuff. So y'all can go back and watch those videos. I'll leave the, uh, the link in the description below. But this video, I'm actually going to be talking about my thoughts and what I think about this clipper. Now, if we take a look at the clipper, it's not... A bad design you know what I'm saying they kept it pretty OG with the original corded fast feeds uh, however it is a slightly thicker uh, clipper now I don't have the Oster fast feeds with me now the corded version but just take my word for it this clipper is slightly thicker 
D blends not not to a certain extent, not on certain things. Name one thing that hasn't gone up in price in the last year. Name one thing. It, it, there ain't a thing, bro. All of it, all of it that's imported, even things that are in, that are made in America have gone up in price. <clears throat> It's a little longer and it comes with a matte finish. Now to me, Got the matte I finish. honestly think they went backwards when it comes to the case or the casing Ooh. of this clipper. Uh, I just feel that it looks worse now than the original version. I feel that the original version looks a lot better than this, than the, than the way it looks now. And once again, guys, this, these are just my opinions. I will say the original version does look more ergonomic. It's got the ridges in the back. The lever definitely looks more ergonomic. It's got like that curvature to it. You know what I mean? So. You can take it, you can not pay attention, whatever, it's up to you. But that's just my opinion with it. Now, before we even get to the performance of this clipper, I want to talk about the box. So here is the box that the clipper comes in. <laughs> Think I could go in? Does he like it or not? Let's see. Now, I know the box ain't a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people can care less about the box. Normally, I don't care about the box. I, I, I throw them away. I chunk them out. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel that they could have came with a better I feel like everybody says that, but everybody does care about the box. We just upgraded all our packaging um, recently because everybody says they don't really care about the box, but we kind of really do. Like, we want to experience when we're unpackaging these things. Am I right? Like, let me know in the comments. Box. If y'all been watching or if y'all been just paying attention to the Clipper game, a lot of these Clipper companies, their their packaging is like on point. Like yeah. Fabulous packaging on point. Gamma and Stylecraft, they have some really good packaging. Even the new Andis. Yo, Andis has stepped up their packaging. Tank, you right about that. Tools have been coming out with yeah. really good packaging. So the fact that Austria came out with a package like this, it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like It ain't the best thing for them. But that does that matter about the Clipper? No, it doesn't. That doesn't tell you if the Clipper works good or not. So that's all I want to say about the box, guys. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the actual performance of the Clipper. So people have been messaging me since I got this Clipper asking me, hey, yo, Tank, how do they work? Do they work good? You know what I'm saying? Do they do this good? Do they do that good? And honestly, some of them I just gave an easy answer to. I'd be like, man, they're all right or they're good. They're good for what they do. They're good if you like Auster. And the reason why I said that was because I didn't want to put out too much yet before I got a good feel for these clippers. Now, I've been using them for about a week, you know, on and off. Obviously, once they're on charge, I had to charge them. But I've been using these for about a week, and I got a pretty decent feel okay. for now. And in my okay, so I like this review because he's actually been using them for a week. So, so I feel like his opinion is going to hold a little bit more weight. Let's check it out. My personal opinion, guys... At a, from a scale from 1 to 10, my personal opinion about these Clippers is I would probably give them about a 7. And the reason why I say that is... A, a 7 solid. Reasons, you know what I'm saying? A 7 one, solid. Uh, it may not be a big deal. Tank, are you in the chat? I thought I saw you. Bro, what is, um, what is the closest thing? Just so we have... Look, Tank is here on the bottom here. You guys can see in the comments. Um, Bro, what is the closest Clipper... Or clippers, plural, to a number ten. So we have context. Is a, if a seven's really that good? What are what are two clippers that are close to being a ten, or one? So when he answers that question, I'm gonna pull it up. Um, damn, damn. He said I was being nice with a seven. Damn, everybody, everybody snapping right now. <laughs> so I need I, I need context. All right, uh, I'll wait till he answers. We'll keep playing it till then. But the lever, if you pay attention to it, it opens up a lot. And when I say it opens up a lot, it opens up more than any clipper that I've ever used before. Now, that may not necessarily be a bad thing to some people, but for me, it kind of threw off my whole system. So I was like, man, I'm not really sure if I can keep using these clippers because of that. Now, obviously, what you can do is... Whoa whoa these are two clippers i've been using a lot lately i'm not gonna lie the rebels or the low pro i would put the seniors in that pack the rebels the low pros the wall seniors i feel like are the closest things to a number 10. um i agree with you on that that's 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 bars all right so it's so far tanks opinions holding a lot of weight hold, holding a lot of weight 
it's not open the lever all the way. Yeah, make sure y'all subscribe. Head, the way I cut when I'm just going, I open my clipper all the way, halfway, and close. So the fact that I don't that's like just that. something that I've been doing for so long, it was a hard habit to break. So the fact that I had to change my whole system to use this is one of the reasons why I give this clipper a seven. Now, another reason why I would say I'd give this clipper a seven is because when you turn the clipper on, it didn't sound very strong at all. It sounded like a slow motor on it, but it was it was a quiet motor. So that reason I, I said I always said that though about the original the corded fasties. I always called them. I made fun of them. I used to always call them just troll troll a little bit. I used to call them the slow feeds because they I, I never understood why people thought they had power. So they never had power to me. That pivot motor was just never that that thing. Did they cut nice for fading? They always cut really nice for fading. But man, the JRLs are up there too. The JRLs, the Rebels, the Low Pros, and the the Seniors are right now, in my opinion, Mount Rushmore top fives. That's my that's that's the starting lineup. Those five Clippers right there. I'm too upset with it, so I'm like, at least the Clipper is quiet. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on for y'all one time real quick. Sound like fast feeds. So I actually feel that this clipper has gotten louder in just a week of use. Now that's to some people, you know what I'm saying, that may not be a big deal. Uh, I know the Andes Masters get louder and people still use those. It may just be my clipper. It may be a faulty clipper. They may just get loud over time. Who knows? But that is another reason why I don't want to give this clipper anything higher than a seven. So speaking of the way it sounds and the way the motor is, people have been asking me like, hey Tank, what's the RPMs on this clipper? And honestly, the box doesn't even say it. I really didn't know. But I do have an app on my phone that can give us a, a ballpark estimate of what the RPMs of this clipper is. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my phone and get this little app out. That Tank, that's the only thing about the JRLs I don't like. I feel like they cut super smooth. But um, Tank have, have said this. Longer levers kind of throw me off, though, honestly. I got to agree with that, man. Um, same, same thing here. It throws it off. And the JRLs open and close a little too much for me. That's why I stopped using them. Um, but as, as far as how smooth they cut, man, them JR, JRLs are hard to beat. That way we can check the RPMs live. So as y'all can see, well, it don't say zero now, but it goes down to zero. And then I'm going to turn this on once it hits zero. All right, so looking at the number, it gave me like 36, 300 and something. So this thing isn't 100% accurate, but just looking at the app, we know that we have somewhere between 3,500 and 4,000 RPMs. Now, that may not be the best thing. Some people may like clippers that have low RPMs. It's just based on preference. But I think that a slightly higher RPMs would have made this clipper a little better, but that's just my personal opinion. Now, a good thing about this clipper is you can actually zero gap the blade. People had been asking me if you can zero gap it due to the original fast feeds you're not being able to zero gap but these you can so obviously oh, that's a good thing okay. about it uh, i did not zero gap these clippers yet i did move the blade slightly closer but i did not zero gap them i don't like zero gapping all of my tools so you know what i'm saying with that being said i did gap my blade a little closer and they did work well but they just still didn't really cut it for me now they did do okay when it came to cutting hair they faded pretty good but it's just I don't know, man. Sometimes when I was debulking, I just felt that they weren't cutting that great. Like, yes, they cut the hair down, but I just felt that I had to move a little slower. But even when I sped up, it didn't feel that it was pulling the hair, but it just didn't feel like it was cutting efficiently. And I need a clipper that's going to cut through hair efficiently and quick. If I'm in a hurry, I need to hurry up and use this clipper to mow down some hair. And I don't feel that this clipper did it. As far as runtime, you do get about 90 hours runtime. At least that's what the box says. Uh, when I put these clippers to use, it gave me about three or four haircuts. So I, I do haircuts every 30 to 45 minutes. So it took about two or three hours before this clipper uncharged. But that's not even continuous use. Like, I don't have this clipper on continuously for that long. Obviously, I'm turning it off when I'm using my trimmers, turning it off when I'm using the shaver, uh, turning it off when I'm, you know, switching different clippers or when I don't have a client. So it, it lasted about three or four haircuts, which isn't the best that I, the best clipper that I have, but it's not the worst either. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I guess it's pretty average, but I just feel that it could have lasted you a little longer. But one good thing that I do want to say is the clipper actually does come with a charging dock. So that that's good because for one it's a pretty well-built charging dock and then if you just for whatever reason not using your clipper 
You can place it on the charging dock, and as you can see, it sits in the charging dock pretty well, pretty sturdy, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it moves around a little bit, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out or anything. So the fact that they gave you a charging dock, I think that's pretty dope. I think that's pretty tight. So that way you can actually like show this clipper off on your station if you'd like to. And honestly, if I do keep this clipper, that's gonna be the only reason why I keep it is just to show it off, because I feel that, that this clipper can be a collector's item due to the original fast feeds being so popular and being pretty much a staple in the barber game. That's facts. As far as the guards, That's facts. Uh, the guards they gave me were these. I, I didn't even use them, honestly, guys. But they gave us these little black plastic guards. I don't like them guards. Them nah. And honestly, I don't like. I don't like guards that you have to slide onto. The Take clipper, too long. You know, like that. That's not my. I, I don't like doing that. I like clipping on my guards. So I never even used these guards. I was using the purple, the Andes purple, mag, uh, the double magnetic guards. Those guards fitted really well. But the fact that they didn't even like try to come out with newer guards, I kind of feel they dropped the ball on that. They should have came out with some premium guards, I guess you can say. Just something new and, you know, just something that would give the people you know, something a little different and make them be like, okay, Oster is doing something with these Clippers. They at least gave us some new guards. That way we can try them out. But they didn't. So I just feel that that was a letdown. Now, the price point of this Clipper is about $220. i have Googled it online. You can find them for $220. You can probably find them slightly cheaper. But on average, I've seen it for about $220. Now, that's not a horrible price point. But I just feel for 220, you can find clippers that work a lot better. For instance, the new Low Pros just dropped, and I think those are going for like 189 or 199, and those work. I think, in my personal opinion, those work a lot better. You do have the Stylecraft Rebel that just dropped, and I believe that one is like 169 or 179. That is a better clipper, in my opinion. So for the price point, I don't feel that this clipper is the best clipper to get for the price. And once again, guys, these are just my opinions, and that's just something that I wanted to let y'all know and how I felt about. About this clipper but that's basically all i gotta say about this clipper uh is it a cop or a drop i would say is it's really only a cop if you really like Oster Fast Feeds or if you're a clipper collector or a clipper junkie or whatever. I would say go ahead and cop this clipper. But if you're not, if you're looking for your next favorite clipper, I honestly don't think this is going to be it. Now, you can use it when it comes to detail and I feel that it does detail good. But that's just, you know, you can find other clippers. Yeah, because it's a slower cut. So if you're using something that has more torque or has a faster cut, detailing with a slower cut makes sense to detail with that are more all around clippers and that's just what i think about this clipper so basically guys that's it for this video if you like this video please make sure to smash that like button also if you're new to my channel make sure to that was a great that was a great ass review both of these reviews were really really good man very informative um damn youtube barber academy said you are nice Mine's is dropping. Oh man. Oh man. That's not. That's not bueno. That's no bueno. Yeah, that's tough. Um. So, all right. I'm gonna use them probably tomorrow. I'm gonna pick them up and use them tomorrow in the shop. I'll do my review. Um. I'm gonna try to you know come at it with a as fair as I possibly possibly can. Um. Try not to have my opinion steered any any direction, but um, y'all go subscribe to Tank. Be chopping, man. Five point six thousand subscribers. We need to run them numbers up. Um, I would. The reviews are in. I mean, uh, he's got he's got good engagement and everything. So that's dope. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I I do. I would say with the rebels and the low pros, I think the low pros are a better, a lot better build quality in my opinion. Um, but the Rebels are the lightest Clippers with the most power is the best way that I can put it. And I like the blade that comes with the Rebels better than the blade that comes with the low pros. But the blade that I put on the low pros, I put the standard, um, the standard blade, the taper blade on it with the taper blade, my low pros are second to none. So that's how I feel about them. But the Rebels are fire. The Low Pros are fire. The JRLs are amazing, but I don't like the extra throw. I don't like the stretch um, lever. I don't like how it opens up so much. So that's probably going to be an issue with me and the fast feeds if, if they open up so much. <clears throat> I got my system in place, man. My system is set. You feel me? So that's dope. The rebels are crazy loud. 
Mine aren't loud. I would dominate. I would hit them up because my mine, mine aren't that loud. Mine aren't loud at all, actually. <clears throat> you think the Fade Blade would change how much they open? Um, probably not change how much they open, but probably change the cutting length. It's still gonna throw me off a little bit. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, Tank be chopping. If you like Magic Clips, you'll love the Rebels. If you like the Seniors, you'll love the Low Pros. On the on the Rebels, I actually like the Fusion Blade. Um, I actually like the Fusion Blade, but on the Low Pros, I really really like the Taper Blade. Um, and then uh, Scraft at the shop, he's actually got the Fusion Blade on the Low Pros. <laughs> he did. I don't want to watch too many too many more of these these videos because I want to steer my opinion too much. But that's what's up. Uh, Spanish channel, man, you don't want my Spanish. My Spanish is horrible. Mine aren't loud either. I don't mess with the Babeless Fade Blade. Yeah, I get that. But for me, they were. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's why they're top five. I never tell anybody there's one go-to clip because everybody got different preferences, you know? Um, like Tank Tank and, and, and Reggie were saying, if you are a... A clipper junkie or if you're somebody that loved the original fast feeds you'll probably love the cordless ones i get that you know what i mean like you can't you, there ain't gonna be one clipper for everybody it ain't gonna happen have i ever used the panasonic joints no nah, i haven't hey i appreciate that queen y'all hit the like button man appreciate the love clipper crafters appreciate the love Nah, uh, I've tried some calibers, but not really like. Yeah, the low pros are metal. <clears throat> I I like the seniors better. I just like quality, engineering, quality, uh, metal and. <sighs> I will say the low pro trimmers are crazy. They're my favorite trimmers. Yeah, that I haven't tried that yet. Uh, using the filthy blends mod and, and putting the Anders blade on, I haven't tried that one yet. Hey, hi man, I appreciate that, bro. Cool man. Oh, Cosmoprof has the black, the black and silver ones right now. Yeah, Tank, appreciate you, man. Great review, bro. Y'all go subscribe, man. Yeah, I've, I've tried the Mythics. I just don't like the the cordless pivot and magnetic style clippers. Hey, that's what's up, Jackson. Hope all is well, man. Yeah, I like the Clipper FXs too. I still use those too. <clears throat> right now, my rotation is the the Low Pros, the Rebels, and the uh, Clipper FXs. Those are my rotations. And then for trimmers, I'm just using the Low Pros or the uh, the Skeleton FXs. Bruh. Bruh, go to point five. Am I gonna do any classes at the premiere? Probably. I always do a class at the premiere, but not a cutting one. I'm probably just gonna do like something with business, something with marketing, or something like that. A lot of people have been bringing up uh, Mari Blends to me, man. Let me let me check them out. What what's what's got y'all so excited about Mari Blends, man? I love I love seeing upcoming creators in the barber industry so let me check out some mari some mari blends i oh, got fifty thousand subscribers okay business is booming the young bull the young bull mm. 
I don't know what I should uh which ones to do. Turning my all right, let's do this one. Turning my school bathroom. What up YouTube? It's Mark Blends. Back at again with another video. Y'all see we in the bathroom with we about to let me see what here. We about to get on right because he looking super, super rough. It looked like it looked like he ain't had a cut in shit. I don't know how long. <laughs> Y'all stop laughing at my boy. Ain't nothing funny. Nah, that's not good. He, he knew he knew where to come. Tyree, let him know. What? Tyree, let him you know. You selling pictures? Yeah. Is this the kid that made the news for cutting in the bathroom at school? Bro, I true photos, but I don't. Bro, I need to tell these niggas, bro. Hey, go follow me on Instagram at True Photos T R. Y'all get, get right. Me too. Follow me hold on, hold on. Y'all get right with my cameraman. Best cameraman. Y'all see it? Look. <laughs> Come on, man. What you doing, bro? Come on, man. Let's get with it. What y'all did in first period today? Okay. Uh, I cannot be out here, bro. No, I'm from here. All right. Yo, shout out to the young kid, man. Shout out to him. Hopefully, he uh he's continued to grow. But this is definitely a channel that the young kids are. Uh, a loving, you know what I'm saying? Got the 50,000 subscribers, but I'm just, it's just not my t my type of channel, guys. But no knock on him. Hopefully he continues to, 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 to boom, to boom. He said, uh, I think, I think low key, every, every guy wants to be a barber. That's funny. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm I got bro, I, I use a combination of wall and um babeless guards. I got I was probably the first barber certified in Tampa, man. I got certified like four years ago. I got YouTube videos where I did S P on um on uh Oh look, I did I did one. Let me show you. Let's see if I could uh pull it up, man. I've been doing this so damn long. If I could find it. Every father that walks into a barbershop is a barber, I swear. Like, look, like, this this video, let me show y'all. This video is four years old. I did S&P on him. And then I'm pretty, I did one with Fonz. I just can't find it. It's got to be somewhere here. But, look, when I did this haircut. Right, so we're going to get right into video. it. We're going to start balding him out with the trimmers. These specifically are the Andy Slimline LIs. Really good trimmers, really good um, ergonomical and, and convenient. So I cut his hair. And um, at this point, I thought I was the most diverse barber <laughs> in the game because nobody was doing scissor cuts, SMPs, enhancements, fades, everything. Um, um, look at this. A lot of temporary Back in the day, man. Because this is over four like years ago. Your hair transplants aren't working for them. This was four and a half years ago. This was in August of, of 2017. This so. is a permanent solution that we know works every single time. Um, Look, I'm making his corners darker. We it up. We made his hairline more prominent. And this is just one session. Generally, we do three sessions, Look, up to three sessions. Um, got his corners full. So we'll do another session on Cyrus, see how it goes. 
but you can see already it's made of got the mcblurry on them all of this is smp right here damn how'd y'all miss this video i don't think this video got a lot of views either it's made this hairline really really stand out really sharp and uh looks very natural in my opinion so you can find out more by visiting scout tattoo artist resource on instagram so yeah man yeah, this video didn't even get uh, much views compared to what my videos used to get back then. And I know, I know for a fact, uh, I did, I did uh, on Fonz too. Let me go to my channel. Let me see. Yeah, at that point in time, nobody was doing S and P. Man, I was just, I was just getting on everything pretty much. I appreciate all the love, guys, in the comments. Ace Grooms, I appreciate that, man. I think I, w I think we could make a great, a great clip or two one day. Let me see. Um, somebody said, "How profitable is S and P?" I would say it's super, it's really profitable if if you if you commit to it, man. I was just traveling, like I was hitting thirty cities every couple months, man, just doing cutting classes. So I couldn't commit to to S and P like I wanted to. Look, let me show y'all this one. Show y'all this one. Right, so this is another haircut tutorial. Look at the young this boss, yo. A little bit different. We're gonna. This was July, four years ago in July, four and a half years ago. Boy was boy was ahead of his time, boy. <laughs> um, show you something that I just learned recently. I can't wait to show it to you guys, so stick around all the way to the end of the video. This video is me cutting hair like in the shop. I'm just cutting hair. We had a live stream going on the side of me. So let's cut so I was, I, given fun, look, so I was I think. And I think so he look. would agree. So we're lining him up. Somebody tell Fonz to grow his damn mustache back. When y'all, whenever y'all see him, tell him to grow his mustache back. Boy, looking real Dominican. You can see that corner on the left hand side is super light. So that's why I attack that first. I want to, I want to hit that, and I want to keep it, you know, as natural as possible without pushing. Bro, look at my trimmers I was using. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. Pushing that up. And the rest wow. of the really match up. But if, like, for example, if we line up that. But, like, look at Fonz's hairline back then. It was really light in this area. It was dark here, light here. That corner and try to make it as, as sharp as possible. We're going to push it up. And then, in order to match the side that's not receding, you're going to have to push the side that's not receding way up if you try to give the receding part a crispy line. All right, so this part of the video is. To me, interesting. It's something that I learned recently. Um, I, I took a course on it, and I think it's gonna look. Look at your boy. Look, we was doing we was doing S and P back then. Look at that blurry fade. Look at the blurry fade, though. Nowadays, now nowadays the S and P guns are wireless. Back then, they were corded. So you see that corner right there? We're gonna darken all that up real, real nice. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. My dog Foz was so happy. <laughs> Boy, keep the camera still. But look at the difference and it looks natural. So yeah, your boy was doing S and P before it was before S and P was as hot as it is now. All right, so we just finished the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think by far this is the best. So, back in the day, man, and that video didn't get a lot of views either. So, all right, let me answer some questions. S and P stands for scalp micropigmentation. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.
crazy looking at yeah facts you done it all appreciate it man i i be trying to tell everybody man you gotta you don't never know man you don't never know what what you're passionate about you know the things that you can how you could be inspired or uh motivated by learning new things and what can come out of that right so It's gonna fade. It's gonna fade um, naturally. Touch ups probably like every three to four years is is back then. That's what it, that's what it was. I mean now technology's probably a lot better. Inks are probably a lot better. So, um, you know, game has changed a lot in the last four and a half years. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, but here's the thing: not everybody's willing to spend two grand. To get their their lineup darkened up, you know. So, if I could tell my old self something, what would I tell me? Um, I don't know, man. I've 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 made a lot of good decisions in my career, man. I would probably say, oh, the one the one biggest mistake that I made was like. Leaving the shop, cold turkey, out of just leaving full time to focus on content creation, I would have stayed in the shop longer. I would have transitioned a little bit slower, um, and I would have never really got out of the shop like that. I would have kept a lot of clientele, and just because it it allows you to stay, you know, foot on the ground, it allows you to keep, um, keep trying new things, more different types of content. You know, like I just. I just felt like stepping away from the shop would let me to focus and think, and it did. Um, I just did it a little too aggressively. So, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't see myself stopping, man. I, you know, I probably focus on different things, but I always have a channel. You know, part of the reason why I like my channel, man, um, is I got I got kids. I got two two young kids, man, and one day I won't be here no more. Could you like? Could you imagine if you could see your grandfather's YouTube channel? Damn, that's I like. I don't even know my grand. None of my grandparents. I have my just one grandma that I, I had a relationship with, and I I wish she would have documented everything. You know, my parents too, you know. We got some family videos every every now and then, but I also do this for them, so how do you get a, a job at a barbershop in the beginning of your career? Um, I would say you, you you don't wait till you get your career started. You start going to the shops now and um build relationships with them. You join in a team, right? I don't look at it as like getting a job like in a corporate setting. So. <clears throat> cool, man. How many people on this live? Right, there's a hundred and something people on here. Man, I just realized there's a lot of comments that I'm missing. There's a lot of damn comments. All right, you guys, we've been on this live for about an hour, probably going to call it a night. It's already going to be 930, so um, I hope you guys enjoy this format. Um, probably do it a little bit more often. What do you say? Hey, Chris, I'm HVAC Tech in Georgia, and I started my own side business. I appreciate you. Hey, that's what's up, man. Congrats on your entrepreneurial um, journey, man. Yeah, facts. Pass the channel to my kid. Yeah. I mean, this is a this this is gonna. Who knows what the channel grows into? But I don't see it ever stopping. It's just gonna be a Basio channel. Getting a job is best for a college barber. Uh, nah, man, just focus on messing up as many people as possible. Getting the reps. But all right, guys. Have a good night, Dave. Appreciate you, bro. I'll see you soon. Y'all have a good night, man.